Section 8. This section is about one of the useful unsupervised learning algorithms which is called self-organizing maps. By using self-organizing maps or SOMs, we would be able to perform feature reduction. This algorithm helps us map a high dimensional data to lower dimensions, usually two dimensions, in which we can have great visualization of the data. In addition, we are going to practice using self-organizing maps with the help of TensorFlow library in Python. So let's go on to this video which is about self-organizing maps or simply SOMs and their applications. In this video, we are going to explain what SOMs are and how they really work. So let's explore more about this specific type of dimensionality reduction algorithm. So what is a self-organizing map or SOM? The self-organizing maps are unsupervised neural networks that cluster high dimensional data. The SOM creates a discretized version of the high dimensional data in lower dimensions, which is usually two dimensions. The input space is called the map and the SOM is actually performing the unsupervised dimensionality reduction. Self-organizing maps use a specific training scheme which is called competitive learning instead of error correcting learning. SOMs use a function related to the neighborhoods to preserve the topological properties of the input space or the input map. The ability of the SOMs in dimensionality reduction makes them a good candidate for high dimensional data visualization. Here in this slide, you can see the actual structure of the SOM algorithm. SOMs consist of input layer, weights, and the output layer or map, which is usually called the coherent layer. The coherent layer is also called the feature map or the competitive layer. You can see that the output layer is a two dimensional representation for the input which is a high dimensional data. But what are the applications of SOMs? As we already mentioned, SOMs are great candidates for data visualization. They are mainly used as an unsupervised learning method for feature or dimensionality reduction. They have too many different applications in natural language processing or NLP, geology, finance, astronomy, and almost everywhere where we need to reduce the dimensions of the data. How do SOMs really work? It's important to note that weights have a different meaning in SOMs. Learning scheme is also different from common neural networks. We must consider the weights as the coordinates of each output cell or neuron. So we are actually showing each output neuron with a weight vector which has a similar dimensions as the input features. The learning scheme is the competitive learning, which means that output neurons must compete to be activated. After winning, they will be called the winner. The learning scheme of the SOMs has the following phases. The initialization, the competition in which the winner is determined, the cooperation in which the topological neighbors are determined by the winner, the adaptation in which the weights are updated to increase the importance of the neurons, related to specific training samples when dealing with similar samples from the same class, and the continuation, which means that we should keep on repeating the same algorithm for a specific number of iterations, such that input data is perfectly represented by two dimensions. We can also have another types of phases for the data, which is more helpful in implementing the algorithm. These phases include random initialization of the weights, sampling of the training samples, which is going through all the samples randomly in each iteration. Matching, which means finding the winner and the topological neighbors of the winner. Updating, which helps updating the weight values according to a specific equation. And the last step is the continuation that we already explained. We can also call it the convergence step. So this is the algorithm that we need to implement. First of all, we need to initialize the weights with random values. Then for each iteration, we choose a training sample from the sampling dataset randomly. Then we need to find the winner, which is the closest neuron to the input and is represented by a weight vector with the same dimensionality of the input features. So we will use the Euclidean distance between the weight vectors of the output neurons with the input features and find the smallest one. Then in the next step, the neighbors of the winner will also come into the picture and their weights will be also updated according to these formulas that you can see here. So the delta W shows the weight change which depends on, on the eta 
which is the learning rate function. The capital T, which shows the influence that the winner has on its neighbors and the difference between the input X with all the weights of the output neurons. Sigma shows the neighborhood of the winner and it decays with the iterations. So as we go further, we shrink the neighborhood around the winner. The learning rate must also decay as we have more and more iterations. S is the lateral distance between the points in the feature map or the output. Capital I is the index of the winner and T represents the epoch or the iterations that we have. Other values are hyperparameters that we need to consider. We need to repeat the same algorithm until the feature map in the output does not change or when a specific number of iterations or the epochs is met. This schematic shows the algorithm. The leftmost figure shows the structure of the SOM with input and output layers. The one in the middle shows the same structure but in more details. It shows that each output neuron is represented by a weight vector of size similar to the input size. The rightmost figure shows the output layer in two dimensions and it also shows the winner with its neighbors in a certain radius. Here you can see a representation of what happens at the end. The high dimensional data will be drawn to the output neuron in two dimensions step by step or sample by sample. And at the end, they would completely cover the output map as you can see here. This figure was taken from Wikipedia website.